everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Sam from Sam's Collectible Toy Salt, and today we're going to be looking at Cad Bane from Star Wars, so let's get into it. Yeah, what what Boba Fett should have been in the series, a true cold-blooded killer, like he said Boba Fett was, yeah. part of the Empire, Cad Bane, who is awesome. He's so cool. You should, you have, guys have to watch the episode in the Book of Boba Fett. He's staying true to his bounty hunter roots, and this, you know what, this is what Boba Fett should be in the series. But I he's think not. He's not, but Cad Bane... It, lives up to the homage of being a bounty hunter the legacy of being a bounty hunter true to form and wow Dave Filoni knocked it out of the ballpark so let's unbox Cad Bane and here he is so we have him in so some things about him so he's an alien bounty hunter from the planet Duro and he was in the Clone Wars series that came out like a while ago yeah and we have him in Jabba's palace because he did work for Jabba the Hutt okay yeah. you can see him there in the background there with Jabba's palace that belongs to you of course so there he we is did a posed. video on Jabba's Palace a while ago yeah this is a great this is the black series as well too so we have him at pose with the dual guns right there this is a great looking figure yeah so some people were making note that in the new series you know that his face looks a little bit paler because he's older I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk that theory guys Star mm -hmm. Wars series the reason why his face is not as blue in the mo in the series right it? now because if you work on film, and you know I've worked on film before, and I'm you know doing colors and all that stuff, the hue saturation levels on live a live animation or live action would look too fake. So that's why his face was a little bit more paler. Were they like dull? Yeah. So you can't have a, a like a beacon in the sky blue. It would be blue, like a blue. neon blue. Yeah, it wouldn't work. It would be unrealistic, and then all you Star Wars fans would be like, "Well, that looks unrealistic." But anyway, so that's. My theory with the hue saturation levels, if you're in film, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, there he is. He looks super great. Like, he's just, like, guys, get your hands on this one if you don't have it. It's being pre-released on all big toy manufacturers right now because of the series. Yeah. So oh, my we, God. People so, love this series. Yeah. So, we got him without the hat. So, you can really see his face. So, the pipes, Samantha, this is interesting. The pipes that he has at his neck. Why does he have them? So, he can withstand choke holds by the Jedis. Oh. So like you know how Darth and Vader I, like choked people. Yeah, and I saw it in the Clone Wars when one of the Jedi's tried to use it on him. I believe it was Anakin or Ashuka, and it didn't work, and he was able to basically you know detain them. So I thought it was like to help him like stay alive. Yeah, well that's what you would think, but that's why he has those pipes there. So he's a very clever bounty hunter. He's, he's ruthless. Ruthless. He is cutthroat, straight to the point. No beating around the bush with Cad Bane. He would kill anyone. Yeah, it just you pay him. This is what he does. Now let's look at the action figure. So he's got the. He's arms the there armor. With, with again the pipes there like that help silver. yeah it looks really good there his it's pants like, it's like leather yeah leather with a little bit weathered again um i think dave filoni was a spawn gunslinger fan in the 90s and i definitely see some resemblance with spawn yeah, I was about, yeah i was just about to say he looks like spawn he does and with the clown with the blue so i think he combined both of them to be inspired to create cad bane because dave filoni did the Clone Wars. Yeah. So there's the back of him with the cape. Again, very similar to Spawn Gunslinger. We did a video on Gun Spawn Gunslinger months ago. Have Is a he look wearing at like it. a hood? You know what? He's an alien. So it's interesting. So I guess I, ne I never noticed in the series, but he's not just full blue. So that's the back of his head. So I'm not sure if that's his skin tone because he is an or is, alien. Or is it like from something Daru. to cover his head? That's a good question. I, that I really can't confirm. Maybe some Star Wars fans can drop a comment there, but he looks like he has he's two tone there. Well, his hands are blue, so I'm assuming he's blue. Yeah. So anyway, this is an, yeah. It could be a hood. It could be a hood. Anyway, this figure is a ten out of ten black series articulation standard with the black series. As you guys know, there is knee joint elbow joint movement but wrist joint yep yeah, what do you give this out of 10 i would give this a 10 out of 10 it looks sharp amazing yeah. great it looks like the character and you watched the, that series the the last episode about 10 times so yeah. it was it was great anyway 10 out of 10 for us guys so anyways we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye and make sure to watch boba fett guys look at boba fett